Hey, it's Luke. If you haven't been using this feature on your Magic Trackpad, this will make things so much easier for you. What we're looking at is called three finger drag. What it does is instead of having to click on a knob and then bring it up with the, the trackpad that can be a lot of work, it lets you use three fingers at a time and it just moves it up and down like this. It's, it's so, so useful to have. You might be using this already, but if you don't know about it, this, I don't know, it's a game changer. The thing is, it's not that easy to figure out how to set it up if you don't know where to go, because you'll go into the settings and what you're gonna do automatically is go into trackpad. And you're looking through here and there's nothing about it at all. There's the two fingers tap to click and then scroll and zoom. It's not really a scrolling or a scrolling or zooming thing. And then you go to more gestures. You're like, okay, that's exactly where it'll be. And there's nothing about it anywhere here. So the reason you can't find it is it's all the way over here under accessibility. And then you go to pointer control here. And e even then, <laughs> I just had to look for it again. You have to go under trackpad options. <laughs> it's buried really deep there. In this last one here, dragging style, you've got three finger drag without drag lock or with drag lock. So you turn this on and then uh, you can go to work. Where, where it's really useful is something like this where uh, you're using a 303 or something like that where you're always playing with the easier than clicking and holding it and whatever it like <laughs> it's so much easier this way and uh one thing i found that's really interesting is if you're using a pad something like this it's really easy to, to do a whole bunch of, of things like that without having to to have a knob set up or figure out whatever you can just you know you could be working on this one and as soon as you're done with this one, you can go to the next one and fix, fix the resonance. Adjust the chorus. So you can be doing a whole bunch of stuff really quickly. If you really wanted to, you could be recording this, do all your settings, and then go into uh, the piano, your automation in the piano roll and just, you know, take this part that I just did with the chorus and just copy and paste it earlier on. So it, it could be a really easy way to get a whole bunch of stuff done without having to set anything up. Your, your trackpad, you're using it every day. It's sitting right there. It should work with the trackpad on the MacBooks and the MacBook Air and all that stuff. On Windows, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm assuming there's a way to set it up in there. So anyways, I hope that can help you out and I hope it can make your, uh, your music even more interesting. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.